I'm Steve Robinson, and I'm from Records One. I'm the Vice President of Clinical Revenue Integrity. Well, HIM is a broad spectrum for me. I think that um, HIM, when I think of them, I also think of how we feed HIM the information that they need to be able to code. And part of that comes from clinical documentation improvement or uh, and, and how that, that we're identifying and being able to gather information from the physicians to make sure that we get correct and accurate and compliant documentation in the record. So I think HIM has a, has a big role to be able to have a good communication flow between CDI physicians and their department. Uh, I think that is managed from top down. I think that they have to have some kind of leadership, good interim leadership and executive leadership to help facilitate that or help spur that on. So I think that, that HIM uh, is, is really doing a, a, a good job, but they could do a great job if they embraced uh, CDI a little bit more and a little bit more... Um, had more candid uh, communication styles. I think that uh, some of the the software that is out there today of being able to uh, make the communication transparent between the departments and being able to, to let the departments uh, have good quality integrity as well as documentation integrity uh, is real important in today's world. I think detail. I think that a lot of times that uh, HIM uh, looks at it from a, a very um, uh, very specific eye and really wants to do the best they possibly can, but sometimes the detail gets left out. Um, now ICD-10 has really spurred that to, to be more um, uh, mandated so that they are uh, looking at it a little bit more thoroughly. Uh, I think that, again, CDI kind of feeds that detail uh, to, the, to the HIM department. Um, and I think HIM is so um, fractured among the different responsibilities that they have today um, that in the different reporting structures, the different analytics structures, um, I think that it's real hard for them to function without uh, feeling some of that pressure from uh, all the different factors that are coming on to them. Prior to CDI, I think that there was um, a lot of guesswork, a lot of guesswork on how a DRG, Diagnostic Related Grouping, is, was being assigned. Um, and that was kind of the impetus of uh, CDI being uh, formulated and a profession coming out of that. So being able to get the detail and being able to assign the DRGs correctly um, really facilitated uh, CDI. I think that what they've been able to do is move from a very um, low-key uh, guess themselves into a more high demand of accuracy and even assigning the ICD-10 codes concurrently um, has, has come about. I, I think that the communication efforts between the CDI person and also the physician uh, has escalated but has become more complex because it's mostly done electronically now rather than chasing down a physician uh, remotely. So I, I think that there's a lot of demands on, on CDI. Um, I think that uh, being able to report analytics correctly being able to um, interact with physicians more compliantly uh, have also been uh, a big, big struggles for CDI, but I, th I think that the profession is supporting that. Well, I think that there's going to be more compliance between and more uh, value-based purchasing, more uh, quality initiatives in the next five to ten years that they'll have to deal with. I think that the physicians will uh, definitely be um, more educated in the next five to ten years on the coding specificity. I think that um, 
CDI will be feeding uh, HIM professionals. Uh, I do think that there'll be more editing by uh, the coding staff as opposed to formulating codes themselves um, uh, through CAC, NLP, and um, some of the natural language processing capabilities. So um, I think that there'll be some changes but in the next five to ten years, but then over even further out than that, I think it'll become uh, more automated um, with more editing capability. I think CDI will uh, start, um, excuse me, I think that um, HIM will start pro progressing more towards CDI roles as well. I think that they'll, they'll start uh, collaborating more with CDI or take some of those roles on uh, as, um, as we progress into the future because of the the CDI roles um, will be feeding into a more automated system. In the next 20 years, I think that there'll be, uh, like I said earlier, a lot more automated um, coding. I think it'll be more perfected. Uh, I think natural language processing will help feed the, the data analytics a lot more. I think that it can progress even 20, 30, 40 years from now into auto um, uh, data analytics where we, uh, we just speak into a microphone and be able to, to come out with analytics at the very end. So I think that that's all evolving. That's a pure prediction. But I think right now where we are is being able to uh, have the capability to be more transparent between quality, um, CDI, coding, um, and make sure that we, we get the information in the record that can be coded appropriately.